What is going on, you guys? Lego Kid back with another video here on the channel, and today we're gonna be doing a video regarding the 2020 Lego Ninjago sets that have been revealed. Well, only the pictures, but the sets themselves will all be revealed in 2021 of January 1st. So, anyways, guys, before you begin today's video, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and like the video too. So, either way, all of these sets that you see here just look so, so amazing. So, and we start off with the first set that we get here is 71730. The Epic Battle Set, Kai versus Skulkin. Now, this set is actually pretty awesome. This set will also retail for about $10. It comes with the Skulkin minifigure, and boy, I just, I'm just loving that Kai minifigure with the headband piece and his hair dual mold molded together. I also like that new torso print along with the pants, the leg pieces, and boy, I just like this minifigure so much that i mean just man i mean this kind of reminds me of the 2019 legacy set that retailed for ten dollars and same thing with the other spin did you battle packs back then as well so either way i just like this lego set next up we get set number 71731 and also called the epic battle set zane versus ninjoid and boy i really like that zane minifigure we also get a ninjoid too this set will retail for about $10 as well, and I'm just loving that Zane minifigure as well. I'm actually kind of wondering, are those, like, really new blade pieces? I'm actually kind of liking those um pieces as well. I mean, I may get some, like, as part of a Bricks and Pieces haul. And I don't know if this is, like, a, a platform for the Ninjoid or something like that. I don't know, but next set up, we get set number 71723, I mean, 32, and this is the Epic Battle set, J versus Serpentine, and boy, I also really like this Lego set, especially with that new Serpentine minifigure, I think that's from season one, and boy, I, I'm just digging that J minifigure as well, I really like the translucent lime green blade pieces, I have to say, <laughs> I don't know, but I also kind of like that serpentine build in the background, and I mean, I'm just really digging the builds here and stuff like that, so next set up, we get set number 71733, <clears throat> and also called the Epic Battle Set Cole versus Ghost Warrior. Now, this is regarding back to season 5, I believe, I don't know, but <clears throat> I'm sorry, but either way, I, I also really like that cool minifigure, and it turns out, well, actually, I should probably say this, by the time of this recording, this is being recorded, like, Saturday, um, November 21st, I believe, so, yeah, I mean, at the time of this recording yesterday, the actor of Cole, I don't know who he is, but either way, the actor of Cole in the Ninjago TV show died, which is very unfortunate, I really like the Ninjago TV series, but either way, I also really like this Lego set with the Ghost Warrior and the Cole minifigure, and boy, I just like those translucent blade pieces and stuff like that. So, next set up, we get the... Sorry about that. Either way, next set up, we get set number 71735, and also called the Tournament of Elements. So, either way, I also kind of like this Lego set too. I mean, we even get that, like, 10-year anniversary Ninjago Lloyd minifigure in that golden color, and boy, I just really love that minifigure. I think I'm gonna have to get some of these LEGO sets just to get that golden minifigure in my hand, so, either way, yeah, I really like the LEGO set, I really like the Tournament of Elements, um, I'm actually kind of wondering why we didn't get a Skylar minifigure in this set, I mean, I don't know. I mean, I, it just would be a nice addition to this Lego set. So, either way, we also get one of those Spendichu pieces, like the Forbidden Spendichu cone pieces. Next set up, we get 71736, and also called the Boulder Blaster from Season 4 as well. We get that exclusive 10-year anniversary Kai, the Golden Kai minifigure. Oh, uh, man, I'm just really digging these Golden minifigures, the Golden Ninjas. So either way, we get a Cole minifigure, a Lloyd minifigure, and we also get a Serpentine Warrior, I don't know, from Season 4. So 
Either way, I also kind of like this Lego set, too. So, anyways, we're going to be going on to the next set. So, anyways, next set up here, we get seven numbers. We get set number 71737 and also called the X1 Ninja Charger. And, boy, this set looks so amazing. I really like the box detailing. And this is regarding back to Season 13 and, um, I mean, Season 3. And is Jay really about to fall off that cliff over there? I hope not. Uh, that'd be pretty tragic. But either way, I really like the box art, and it also comes with a motorcycle as well for Kai. So, we get a Kai minifigure, I think a General, uh, I can't remember his name, um, General Cryptor, I believe. We get that minifigure, a Mindroid minifigure, J, and that exclusive 10-year anniversary, Cole. Man, I'm just really digging these, like, golden ninjas. So, next setup, we get set number 71738, and also called Zane's Titan Mech Battle. Now, this set comes with, um, okay, I don't know how many pieces this set comes with. It'll probably retail somewhere around $60, I believe. I don't know, I could be wrong about that. So, anyways, we get that exclusive 10-year anniversary J minifigure in that golden color as well. We get a Zayn minifigure from Season 5, and we get two Ghost Warriors, and boy, I'm just really loving these 2021 LEGO Ninjago sets. So, anyways, guys, that's pretty much all I have to say for today's LEGO video. If you like it, please make sure to hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, and like the video, too. So, anyways, guys, that's pretty much all I have to say, and I'll see you all in tomorrow's video.